In today's training, I will show you how to save an image, upload it to WeVideo, and then add it to your vacation commercial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do today is click on the Google Drive link in Google Classroom. When you click on Google Drive, you'll go to Drive. Once your drive is opened, go to New, More, and then down to WeVideo. Now, if you do not see WeVideo, go back to Google Classroom at this time and find the video that you need. I have them linked here in the stream. First, add an opening in music to WeVideo. That video is here. If you need help adding WeVideo to your Google account, click here. If you were not here last week, you need to watch the entire video, click here. Once you're in Google Drive and you opened up WeVideo, you're going to go to your project. It should be sitting here at the top. If you scroll down, you should see recent edits. Here is my video. I want to edit it. If I hit play, you'll see what you've done last week. You should have an opening and sound. Now what I want to do is I want to add pictures to my video. To do that, I'm going to open up a new tab. In Google, I'm going to search for my location. What I want to do is I want to search images. When you search Google images, you have to be very careful. If you see something that is inappropriate, please do not call attention to it. Just find another picture or do a different search. What I want to do is I want to use pictures that I'm able to use. So I'm going to go to tools and I want to go to usage rights. I want to make sure that they are labeled for reuse with modification. These are all then pictures that I can use for my slideshow. When I find the picture that I like, I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to right tap on it or two finger tap. I want to save image as, and I can name it here, or I can use the name that's already there for me. I'm going to hit save. This is going to save in your downloads folder on your computer. If I'm looking for another picture, I can do that now. I'm going to scroll down and maybe find another picture of Bar Harbor. Click it. Either right click or two finger tap. Save image as. Save. And it should save to your downloads folder. I'm still looking for more pictures. Scrolling down. Two finger tap or right click. Save image as, rename it, or save it. You want to make sure that you have at least five pictures. The more pictures that you have, the better your video will be. Finding more pictures, two finger tap, save image as. Now I want to upload these pictures to WeVideo. I'll click back to my WeVideo tab. I'm going to go to my folder with the star and I'm going to upload these pictures. I can upload these pictures with the cloud with the up symbol. I'm going to browse to select. This should open up our documents folder and you should be able to see the pictures that you have. You can select them all by holding down shift and clicking on each one of them. And then you're going to say open. You have to wait till they all upload before you can use them. Once they have all opened, you'll see the 100% in the corner near that green cloud. Now I can use my pictures. I can decide which one I want to use first, click and hold on it, drag it down into video one. Find your next picture that you want to use, click and hold on it, drag it down, picture two. Find the next picture that you want to use, click and hold on it, drag it down. Find the last picture that you want to use, click and hold on it, and drag it down. Again, you should have at least five pictures. I can take my playhead back and play it. Maybe I want to put a transition in between each picture. 
I'll go to the Transitions tab, pick the one that I want by scrolling down, click and hold, and put it in between the pictures. Find another one, click and hold, and put it in between the pictures. If you want to use the same one each time, that's fine. Click and hold and drag it. I'll turn my sound off, play. It transitions to the next picture, transitions to the next picture. Make sure that you have at least five pictures and a transition in between each one of your pictures. Maybe now you want to add some words to your pictures. What you'll do is you'll go back to your animation tabs, your text. You can use any of the motion ones, click and hold and drag it down. You'll use this as video too. Shrink it down so that it's just overlapping that picture. Double tap. Find your sentences and write them here. Primary text, secondary text. Write your entire sentence here. Bar Harbor has many lighthouses. Let's see what that's going to look like. There's my animated text. I'm going to say done editing. And I can watch it again here, backing it up and hitting play. There's my transition with my text overlapping. What I can do is I can change that text color by using the color palette up here. Maybe I do want it to be a darker color so I can read it. Maybe I want my sentence to be a little bit larger. I can enlarge it here as well, choosing manual and bumping up the number. Done editing and then backing it up to watch it. You need to have at least two sentences written in over top of two of your pictures. Next week, I'll show you how to end your video. Make sure that you add pictures, animations, and text today. Good luck.